Hello, today we're going to talk about two-way frequency tables. Two-way frequency tables show relationships between two sets of categorical data. Here we have a two-way frequency table in which it looks like a set of students in a high school, freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors, were asked what type of a party they would prefer. So a cookout, a pizza party, or an ice cream social. So the way to read this is like the total number of freshmen surveyed was 525. The total number of sophomores was 475. The total number of juniors was 425. The total number of seniors was 400. The total number of students that preferred a cookout was 750. The total number of students that preferred a pizza party was 495. And the total number of students that preferred an ice cream social was 580. Now, if you add 750, 495, and 580, you should get 1,825. Same thing if you add 525 plus 475 plus 425 plus 400, you should also get 1,825. This number down here is called the sample size. And that is how many students were surveyed. So on this first question, it says how many students were surveyed well, we get that from the sample size. And we said that was 1,825 students. How many freshmen were surveyed? So here we want the freshman total. So if I go to freshmen and I go to their total, that is 525 students. How many students prefer to have a cookout? So I want the total number for cookout, which is 750. What option do sophomores prefer? So I'm going to go look at sophomores, and I'm going to look at the one that has the greatest. So here we have 250, 125, and 100. The greatest one for sophomores is 250. So sophomores prefer a cookout. On this next one, it says, what percentage? So now we're no longer finding just a number. Now we want to find a percent. So what percent of students surveyed would like to have an ice cream social? So the total that wants an ice cream social is 580. And we're going to divide that by the sample size of 1,825. So in my calculator, I'm going to do 580 divided by 1,825, and I get 0.318. This is not a percentage yet. To make this a percentage, I need to multiply by 100, and that will give me 3 point, or sorry, 31.8%. So 31.8% of students would prefer to have an ice cream social. What percentage of students surveyed are juniors? So the total number of juniors is 425. And I'm going to divide that by the total number of students surveyed. So 425 divided by 1,825 multiplied by 100 to get a percent is 23.3%. Now when they ask you for a percentage, make sure that you have the percent symbol there. The next one says, 
what percentage of the students surveyed are sophomores that would like a pizza party? So sophomores pizza party is 125. So 125 divided by the total number of students surveyed multiplied by 100 to make it a percent is 6.8 percent. What percentage of the students surveyed are freshmen that would like a cookout? So freshmen cookout is 150. So 150 divided by 1,825 multiplied by 100 gives me 8.2%. What percentage of seniors so notice on these other two, it said what percentage of the students surveyed. So here we were always dividing by the um, sample size. On this one, it says what percentage of seniors. So now my denominator is going to be the total number of seniors. My seniors total is 400. So what percentage of seniors want a pizza party? So seniors that want a pizza party is 70. So 70 seniors that want a pizza party divided by the total number of seniors multiplied by 100 is 17.5%. For this next one, what percentage of students that want a cookout? So now my denominator is going to be the number of students that want a cookout, which is 750. So what percentage of students want a cookout are sophomores. So the number of sophomores that want a cookout is 250. So the 250 sophomores divided by the 750 students that want a cookout multiplied by 100 is 33.3%. When you find a frequency that is in the margins, so something that is found here or here. So when you find a frequency that is in the margins, those are considered marginal frequencies. So that's what we did here in these two examples. So these are called marginal frequencies. When you find a frequency that is in the middle of the table. So these ones here. So anything that's in the middle of the table, these are called joint frequencies. So that is what we found on these two examples. When you take a joint frequency and divide it by a marginal frequency, that is when you get a conditional frequency. And that is what these bottom two were.